Now let's review our figure uh, 20-39 uh, from Starkup's Electrical Design Book, Volume 2. And we're going to deal with transformer secondary conductors and lengths of 10 feet to 25 feet. And uh, these are more commercial taps. You know, there was always a conflict between 240.21C3 because it said industrial. So uh, a lot of cities, states, and counties said, well, uh, you have to be in industrial type zoning to make this 25 foot tap. You have to make a 10. So we needed to do something uh, for commercial areas where, you know, uh, a tap roof could be made uh, over 10 foot up to 25. So the code panel come up with 240.21C6. But now notice that you have a, an overcurrent device here and uh, uh, conductors feeding this primary. And then we're going to tap off this secondary but we have to have certain rules now because you're not in an industrial facility where you would have maybe a supervision to ensure that qualified people service the system, have an engineering staff, and so forth. So the note tells us in the illustration, the rating of the transformer is 100 kVA, and the secondary conductors are not over 25 foot, but they're over 10 foot. So... Uh, we have a 250 amp overcurrent device in the panel board and we're complying with a 408.36. Primary is 480 volts, secondary is 208 volt. And the secondary, uh, uh, these conductors are 300 kcm LTHWN 285 amps. Now, let's just take a look at the uh, procedure for calculating the appropriate uh, size conductors and overcurrent device and so forth uh, to meet 240.21C6. So let's look at applying 240.21C6 in the boxed in uh, information and uh, notice in step one you have 240.21C6 item one. You get the ratio 480, 208 volt into 480 and the 480 is your primary, 208 volts your secondary, we have a 2.3 to 1 ratio. Step 2, table 310.16, those secondary conductors are 300 kc mil. So step 3, we have a 150 amp overcurrent device on the primary side, so it's times one third, and that's 150 amp overcurrent device times one third, 50 amp. Now we take 50 amp times the ratio of 2.3, we come up with 115. We have to be equivalent, uh, you know, to that or larger. So we have 285 amps, 300 kc mils are equal to or operate uh, greater than the ratio of 240.21 uh, C6 item 1. So this illustration, uh, illustration excuse me, 20-39 uh, is illustrating the procedure when you're applying 240.21C6 for a commercial tap and not 240.21C3 for an industrial tap. So you folks installing these separately derived systems, uh, you want to know the difference and the 240.21C3 industrial tap and how that would be applied in a calculation. And then how your 240.21C6 for commercial and how you would calculate and determine overcurrent devices and conductor sizes and so forth. So that's what your figure 20-39 is illustrating uh, to you and I.